In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the clipboard on your Android phone. So let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is open your keyboard. So just go to any app where your keyboard will open. So currently I'm on notes. Now I'll quickly tell you what the clipboard is. So basically any text or image which you copy will all get saved and then you can access all of them from the clipboard. So now I'll show you how to access it. So first I'll type something and copy it. Now I'll long press and click on copy. And now it's copied to my clipboard. So the keyboard I'm currently using is Gboard and you'll find this on other phones like OnePlus or Pixel. But even if you have another phone, the settings are more or less the same. So now to access clipboard, I'll click on this button over here. After that, I'll click on the three dots that are here. And then I'll click on clipboard. And as you can see, hello, which I copied earlier, has come here. So if your clipboard isn't enabled, then you can enable it by clicking on this button over here. And this is basically how to access it using Gboard. And here you have a few options like pinning them or deleting them. So if I just long press on it, then I can paste it, pin it or delete it. Now I'll change my keyboard to the Samsung keyboard and show you how to access it on that. So now I'm on the Samsung keyboard and to access Gboard, the method is the same. I'll just click on the three dots that are over here and I'll find an option called clipboard. As you can see, it's over here. And if I click on it, hello, which I copied earlier has come here. So there is a chance that you might not have this option. And if you don't, then you'll have to go to settings and enable the toolbar from there. So I'll show you how to do that. So first go to settings and in settings, search for Samsung keyboard. So click on it. After that, scroll down and you'll find an option called keyboard toolbar. So as you can see, it's currently enabled, but if it isn't on your phone, then you'll just have to enable it. And once it's done, you can access the clipboard the same way. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know some Gboard tricks, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.